What's up squad, what's up gang? In today's video, I will be unboxing some new studio lights I got for my creative cave. But I will just unbox one because I'm actually using the other one. And I've been using it for a while now. That's why you guys probably noticed a um, change in my lighting situation. Um, my new light is Y. So I will be just unboxing one in today's video, but make sure you guys stay tuned till the end of this video because I will be giving you guys some light tips at the end of this video so you can increase the quality of your lighting in your video. So with no further ado, let's get started. So the lights I have are the Emeron series lights from the company Aperture. And these are their creator friendly lights. So these are like budget lights, which is really cool. Um, you can get two sets for like 400 and some change, I believe. Well, at the time, at the time I got them, that's what they were going for. And these lights I have are the bicolor lights, so they don't get as bright as the um, daytime um, only lights, but that's cool with me because these lights shoot out a lot of light. I'll only have this light right now on two, and it's lighting up my face real, real well. And yeah, these are the budget friendly lights and I wanted something small and lightweight because I want to mount these lights to the ceiling of the creative cave using a C, um, C clamp and I'm going to clip it because I have an open ceiling down here so I can clip them to the ceiling and have them hanging down with a safety cable of course don't want no oopsie daisies in the creative cave so yeah so these are some bicolor lights and the cool thing about these lights is that my two lights that i have lit up in the back of me my aperture mc lights yes they are aperture lights too these lights are all connected with the Citus link app and i love that app i can sit in my chair and change the color of these lights if i want to i can dim this light if i want to all from the phone without having to get up and physically stand up and like change it and whatnot so i can do that all sitting down makes my job a lot more easier so yeah that's why I wanted to get the aperture lights because I knew that I could use them with the Citus um, link. And these lights are pretty good. You seeing the look right now and you seen the look in my previous videos. So now that you guys know why I got the light, let's do a quick unboxing. Now, the paper around this box was difficult <laughs> to get off. I probably won't put it on the box after today. No, not no more. I'm going to take a picture and probably a thumbnail. Then I'm going to toss it away. But yeah, it was very hard to get the wrapping off the box. But once you get that off of the package and you crack this bad boy open, easy peasy from here first you have your light and then you have your bowens mount and then you have two options for making this light work you have the regular plug-in and then you have a battery adapter so you can run this um light um off of a battery Super dope, right? I used it before 
Um, they they say some people say don't take these lights out on, in the field. Get you something more sturdy because these lights are made from plastics, but it's hard duty plastics. But I will say if you take it out in the field, just be conscious and like make sure the light is secured on the tripod or whatever you have it on like if you have it on a tripod um stick a um sandbag on one of the legs so it won't go nowhere so that will be my advice to you if you plan on using it out in the field I did take it out in the field when we did a balloon release for my cousin's um, birthday, my deceased cousin, uh, Warren. And yeah, I used the light then for the first time in the field. And it was dope. It lit up his wall real well. Um, but I probably won't be using these lights in the field like that. I probably will invest in a more um tougher light i have my eyes on one of the other apertures lights that i can take and it's like weather um, resistant so yeah i might cop one of those i'm not sure yet but so far i love this light man but the only thing i didn't like with this light is the bowen's mouth it like had one of them hyper um inside so the light was going any everywhere it was spilling it's what we call light when it spills off to like the side it was lighting up the background and that affected how my red lights look and i added a um different bowens mount not one with one of those like real real reflective inside and then I added a cone in the inside of the bones mount with a um, like a diffuser on top of that so the light will be more subtle but the cone allows you to focus the light on your subject more so the subject right now is my face so it's just like lighting up my face really and like part of my t-shirt but I can fix that with you know the placement of the light if you will so yeah um this light is real dope but I would advise you to get another um Bowens mount and it can adapt to any um Bowens mount so this one isn't a brand from Aperture I got because they were out of stock at the time when I was looking um, for a new Bowens mount. So this is a like aftermarket um, brand and it fits on it real well. Um, it does heat up real fast so you have to keep an eye on that. And you can get a, um, a V-mount battery and operate the battery i mean the light with that because it has the little cord and you can hook it up to the v-mount battery so you can have battery life longer that way than you would with a um, camera battery but the only thing with that is if you don't have the situs app you won't be able to tell how much battery life you have on the V-mount battery unless the V-mount battery has a um, one of those battery um, input things. I told you guys why I got the light. I unboxed um, the light for you guys and I gave you guys some pointers about the light and I told you what I didn't like about the light. Excuse me. So now what I'm going to do is give you guys some pointers about your lighting. Um, you should have three lights, really. Um, your key light, background light, and a hair light. Yeah, that's what commercial commercials and movies typically uh, use, three lights. For those three topics like I just said depending on the shot 
you're trying to get like this shot right here they probably would use that three light combo i just um named but i'm just using one light this is a youtube video i'm not doing a commercial right now but if i was doing a commercial i will hook it up with some three lights so remember key light background light hair light or uh, um rim light yeah and it will make your picture popped out more so in my next video pay attention to the lighting because i will be using both lights y'all thought this was something with one light just wait until i start using both of them and i have another light laying around somewhere in the creative cave i can use as a hair light i don't have a hair light right now i just have a key light and my background lights so yeah i think that's enough for this video man drop in the comments and tell me you guys thoughts about this light is it dope or nope and also let me know if you want me to do a more in depth feature with this light because this light can do way more than i told you guys in this video but like i say in my other videos i gotta stretch this content out man so drop in the comments and let me know if you guys want me to do a full-on review of the aperture emeron and this is the second gen by the way so peace out i'm gone